the ocean. Who doesn't enjoy the warm sunshine, sand between our toes, and rolling waves? But there are good waves and bad waves. Rolling waves are good. Storm surge waves? Not so much. When an extreme storm, like a hurricane, moves inland, it often brings dangerously high levels of water, called the storm surge. Many people don't realize that most of the destruction from severe storms is caused not by the strong winds, but by the storm surge the winds create. Over half of the United States population lives within 50 miles of the coast. With so many people living near the coast, you can see the potential for a lot of problems. So, how can we continue to enjoy life along the coast without getting in over our heads? Well, at NOAA, we believe that the key to preparing for and surviving a severe storm means having as much warning as possible. So NOAA has built over 200 monitoring stations to alert us to dangerously rising waters. These stations continuously record water levels, airspeed, and the temperature of the air and water. This information is beamed to satellites and sent out to TV and radio stations and posted on the internet. Some of these big monitoring stations, called Sentinels, are built to take on a Category 4 hurricane. They can withstand winds up to 155 miles per hour. That's stronger than Hurricane Katrina was when it hit New Orleans. These monitoring stations help save lives because they warn people days and hours in advance of impending storms, allowing people to evacuate early. NOAA's monitoring stations are valuable instruments. You can relax knowing that NOAA is working hard to bring you information on weather and water through these intelligent and unwavering soldiers. Always on guard.